Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Thursday, April 25th. It is the 116th day of the year. There are 250 days left. Happy National DNA Day! On April 25th, people across the nation recognize National DNA Day. On this day in 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick formally announced their discovery of deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short, in a letter published in the science journal Nature. Fast forward to 1990 when scientists from around the world came together to begin mapping the human genome. Known as the Human Genome Project, approximately 2,000 scientists in six countries set to work mapping the nucleotides in human DNA. In the process, the project learned that humans share genes with other species. Some of the species the project mapped included yeast, mice, and the fruit fly, all species commonly studied in science already. On June 26, 2000, the first draft of the human genome was released, and by April of 2003, the project released 92% of the mapped human genome. The mapping of the human genome has transformed medicine and research. The Encyclopedia of DNA Elements project launched soon after the human genome was sequenced to study further and catalog data related to the human genome. Research included the study of different cancers and more advanced diagnostic tests may change medicine forever. All living things have DNA and it may do you some good to stop at your local library and read a little bit more about it. It's fascinating. Today is also Hairstylist Appreciation Day, International Girls in ICT Day, License Plate Day, and National Hug a Plumber Day. All right, National Dayers, it's time to make some edible DNA. Gather the following supplies. You'll need 12 toothpicks, two Twizzlers, and a bunch of colored mini marshmallows. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your Twizzlers and you're going to stick 12 toothpicks sticking out the side all the way spacing them out so you're going to go all the way down to the end and that's going to be one side of your dna molecule now the marshmallows are going to be called the bases so you're going to stick a marshmallow onto the end of each toothpick now you have to match base pairs with dna there are only four base pairs that make up all of dna so in this instance you're going to make sure that orange always goes with yellow and pink always goes with green. So if you started with an orange, you're gonna end with a yellow. If you started with a yellow, you're gonna end with an orange. If you started with a pink, green, and then green, pink. Those are going to make your matching base pairs. So knowing your match, add your second marshmallow to each toothpick. Now, Add the other Twizzler to the end of each of the toothpicks, making the other backbone of the DNA. Now you have a DNA molecule, and you can twist your DNA molecule so it looks just like the real thing. Oh, and guess what? Now you can eat it, too! National Dayers, we are so cool, because look at that! I mean, and we can eat it? and learn science at the same time. Amazing. So cool. All right, keep smiling, National Dayers. Stop at your local library, read up on DNA. Genetics are very interesting. It's interesting to see how you got your blue eyes, or the color of your hair, or the shape of your nose, all kinds of cool stuff. Keep smiling, have a thoughtful Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Our shout outs today start us off with Ms. Dean and everyone in her fourth grade class at Briarwood Elementary School in Renton, Washington. Next up is Mr. Brett, Ms. Julia, and Ms. Susan and everyone in the transition program at Wolf Education Center of Merced in Merced, California. 
Third up today is Ms. Polly and everyone in the special needs grades one, two, and three, the board of DD at Wildly School in Claremont County, Ohio. Our fourth shout out today, Mr. Mason and everyone in the ninth grade MSD program at Madison Central in Richmond, Kentucky. And our fifth shout out today goes out to Ms. Best, Ms. Moore, and Ms. Hurst and everyone in the grades 9 through 12 extended content support program at East Wake High School in Wendell, North Carolina. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Teachers, our shout out form is currently closed due to popularity, which is amazing. Thank you for watching and I will keep you posted when we're taking more shout out requests. And here it is, your updated super spectacular shout out map.